I had one asking for my Lime King, so here we go. This is some light green and some normal green. And I'm just using a tiny bit of the normal green and a lot of the light green. What gives me this color right here? So I'm going to take a tiny bit of that and I am using some of my translucent clay here. Kind of a lot of that with a little of the green and I'm mixing that together. Giving me this color and I think it's a little too green. So I'm taking a little more of the translucent and popping in there. So I get this color here instead. And I like that one. This is opaque white that I rolled out on a setting 7. Now I'm just rolling this one into a uh, small cake or a cylinder. Just like this. Trying to get it even on all sides. When I'm happy with my shape, I am cutting it through on the middle. Placing it on my white clay and cutting out a piece that fits to this uh, green colored clay here. Then I take the piece and I place it back where it belong and I'm making sure that the two parts are really sticking good and well together. Then I cut it on the other direction and do the same thing with that. Place it back here and making sure that everything is really connected and nice. Now I'm cutting here um, in the middle in between the two first cuts. Placing a piece of white and connecting it again really really good. And then on the last uh, row here or place I am cutting it through and making again a white line through that part. There we go, placing it together and making sure that everything is really good stuck together. So it's really neat and nice. Then I rolled out the white here on a setting 3 or 4. I Actually I think it was a setting 4 on my pasta machine. So it's a little thicker than the ones we put in between the green. And I am just making sure I have some white that I can place all around uh, the edge here of this lime. And I'm making sure that it is not overlaying here. So just put that together. I am doing the same with the green clay here. That was the first one we mixed. Uh, rolled out on the same setting as uh, the white one and just rolled around not overlaying and just cutting off a tiny bit of the excess here and I'm actually giving it around more of the green because I want the green to be a bit thicker around uh, the cane than the white one was but I'm stretching this one a tiny bit so that it is not as thick as the other one again making sure that it is not overlaying I wanted to stretch it a tiny bit more. So I'm making sure it's not overlaying here. And that's it. I cleaned my working surface and now I'm ready to squeeze this cane together. I'm making sure that everything is really neat and nice in there so I don't get any air pockets when I am going to roll it because air pockets will ruin the cane. So make sure everything is really tight and good squeezed together. And when I'm sure about that, then I will start rolling the cane into the uh, size that I want it to be. I cut off the end pieces as I just showed here because they are always really wonky and not bad. So I cut them out or off and put them to the side and use them for something else. And then I'm just rolling the rest cane uh, into the size that I wanted to. I had an old one here that I used for size comparison. So I'm just rolling it out in the size I want it to be. When I'm happy with the size, I am going to cut off the end piece because that's never good. Just making sure that the 
pattern in there is perfect and I am cutting these up in pieces that is around five centimeters long. Um, I'm not cutting everything into this size, but um, I cut the most of it up into the five centimeter sizes and I'm actually selling those on my sales exhibitions. Uh, because I always get so much out of these canes that I have more than enough for me and for selling. So I decide on how much I am going to cut up and I am baking those as they are in small canes. I bake them for only 10 minutes because then they're still nice and soft enough to be able to be cut, but they have been baked enough so that they actually don't need to be baked more if not uh, if you don't want to. Here I am just making a few um, slices of the cane and showing you how I am using a tiny ball tool to make some indents here only in the translucent parts uh, to make some textures in these. Bake them and then you are all done. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.